Folks, Saturday night, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Live, one-shot edition. Thanks for being here. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If it's your first <coughs> time here, hang on to your ass. It's going to be a wild one. Uh, tonight, we're in a coastal city that's been hit by a hurricane, but don't worry, I wrote both last time and this time scenarios six months apart. Totally different, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like my sweatshirt or my phone case, I don't care. Go buy it at the shop. We've got plenty of stuff there. Hell, you can get a duvet or a shower curtain if you want. <laughs> Most importantly, if you want to uh, have a seat on the one shot like Zach tonight, M -Hobo, Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on a one shot or on the talk show on Tuesdays uh, and you can hang out here. You can't do any worse uh, than Rob, who is going to be glitchy all night long, jumping uh, in and out. Before we get into the scenario, let's go ahead yeah. and introduce you to the cast. Uh, we will start off. Uh, we'll go by seniority here to help Zach out a little bit. Carol, you're up first. Who are you? Who Am you? I the oldest, really? You're Other like than 106. You? No, I'm <laughs> not. And I'm younger than Frank, so... Everybody's younger uh, than me. I think I'm younger than David, too, if I recall. All right, but anyways, Rios, hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and the commission mini painter. And tonight, I will be bringing back my favorite cleric, Luna. My, oh gosh, I got too many Gs, right? My gnome goth grave cleric. Nice. <laughs> I love her so much. Tonight I'm going to kill her. Uh, he, keeps her he turned into a werewolf, you know, if she was above third level, we could deal with that. That's it, true, because she did get bit. Yep. Uh, next up in seniority, wow, David, how the mighty have climbed. David, you're I up. Know. <laughs> I am, seniority. Hi, I'm David. I am um, usually Zadar in the, cat, in the <laughs> Thursday Night cat, uh, Cacophony show. And I'm on our talk show Between the Rolls. But uh, tonight I will be playing Nimbus, the Dragonborn Storm Sorcerer. So see how that goes. Kill you too, I think. <laughs> some giggles. Uh, try. Next up is Rob. Rob is in Northern California with Storm, so he may be disappearing frequently. Rob, tell us about yourself. We'll see how it happens. Uh, well, I'm Rob. Bob, I'm a longtime DM and a recent addition to Murder Hobo. Am I gone again? Probably no. gone again. I'll be playing no, Moss you're still Pants here. first level range. You're still here. Awesome. You're, you're still here. You're kind <coughs> of awesome. tin canny, though. Uh, uh, last but certainly not least, a brand yeah, new. Yeah, that thing. sucks. <laughs> yeah, you got a little bit of a lag. <laughs> it's too bad you can't go beat your router with a hammer you know, to get it to friggin' stop that. He could, it just won't work anymore. Right. Uh, new addition to Murder Hobo Inc. tonight, Zach. Zach, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us about your character, please. Hey, my name is Zach Price. Um, you can find me on Audible, iTunes, and Amazon, where I narrate audiobooks under the name Zach Price. Or you can find me on Spotify, um, where I've recently started releasing all of my unreleased tunes from the last 20 years. All the stuff that wasn't fit for any other record label. Yeah, we're throwing it out there now on Spotify under the name Zach Meow. Um, uh, I am a, an audiobook narrator, musician, producer, and uh, voiceover artist and voice actor. And tonight um, I will be uh, playing uh, a Chutney, the rock gnome. I don't really know a whole lot about him yet, but this is certainly, certainly destined to be an evening of self-discovery for this druid. <laughs> it will be for us all, no, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And I do love your voice. Oh, my God, that voice. Folks, don't forget oh, to... learn uh, to hate it before too long. <laughs> <laughs> if you want custom dice, check out Pyro Dog Dice. If your game stinks, Adventure Sense, don't huff it like Kyle, because you will freaking choked it up uh adventure senses by oddfishgames.com also maker of the shine system so if you want to get into writing go ahead and check out oddfishgames.com the shine system tomorrow i believe i think i believe uh at rpg with your cat uh free to enter free to play you just gotta register <laughs> folks tonight we're playing garen bluffs 
I don't know why I called it that. It's been a while since I've written it. First level, <laughs> four characters. Uh, these guys arrived in the city, or I'm sorry, uh, the coastal town of Habas. Uh, right before a hurricane hit, they sought shelter. They found shelter. However, now, the next morning, the town is in tatters, and the only road out is clogged with trees. So it's going to... I mean, they're going to stay an extra day here. Uh, you guys get to start off with telling me if you want to hang out in the tavern, help the people, rifle through people's property, or what do you want to do? We will start with Zach. <coughs> I'm sorry, Chutney. We will start with Chutney. So I've, on, uh, I've only just met this lot. I'm not really sure what. If I, it's... They'll probably kill you. Certainly not. Certainly not in my best interest to be, uh, well, acting the way I did back in my early forties as a youngster. Oh, <coughs> you clearly uh, haven't met Luna. Rifling, rifling, <laughs> rifling through people's goods. <coughs> but, well, uh, I'm for now going to. Uh, and just keep a watchful eye out around this. I'm, I'm going to have one foot in the tavern where I'm most comfortable. And, That's fair. And and keep an eye outside. And <coughs> I'd, I'd like to get a feel for what's going on around this town. The tavern is open for business, so you are in luck. Uh, Nimbus, the dragonborn. What do you want to do? Well, I thrive in the storm, but hey, I'm not going to turn down a drink at the tavern, so I'm going to go to the tavern. Fair enough. Luna? Well, I guess, you know, we're all going to the tavern. I'm, I'm good with that, too. Besides, we're helping the town by, you know, buying drinks and supporting the local economy, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, that fiscal conservatism is going to go right out the window. <laughs> right. Uh, Last plus, but not least, moss pants. What do you want to do? I'm a halfling. There's food in the tavern. None of you shits are going to help the people clear. Wow. Holy I, crap. I was until they both said they were going to the tavern. <laughs> Good news. Yeah, because we wouldn't want to split the party. That would be no. horrible. <clears throat> Everybody roll perception checks, please. We'll okay. do this the easy way. <laughs> Yeah, I got all, oh, that's a 10 plus. Perception, 15? Uh, 24, <laughs> I rolled a nat 20. Oh! I've got a dirty 20. Shot me? And tw day 21. That's uh, surprising Luna. for a first level character. <laughs> Hey, the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Luna, was yours a 15, you said? It, it was a 15. A clamor arises down at the small fishing <coughs> dock, and it looks as though the citizens are closing in on it en masse. Something is afoot down by the water line. Do you continue to eat, continue to drink, or if they, go If they pull a foot out of the bay, <clears throat> then I definitely don't want to be anywhere near that. You never know when you need another foot. <laughs> Strange. Anchored feet. to go. You know, this guy of moss pants, give him a foot, he'll take a mile. I know. <laughs> well, he's short, so uh, <coughs> that's that's why he does it. So, staying in the ta uh, tavern or going down to investigate? Tankered to go. Yeah, uh, go cup would be in order. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they'll spoken. put a plastic lid on it. So, <laughs> oh my God, that was spoken like someone who's been to New Orleans before, huh? So, I hey, okay. grew up there. <laughs> exactly. Is there, is there a bottle nearby that I might be able to purloin? Uh, sure. Go ahead and give me a stealth check to uh, grab it with some gusto. Stealth and sleight of hand happen to be the same negative one, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. It's like I kill me a rock with a, gnome. with a 17. Oh, very nice. Uh, go ahead and roll a constitution check. Let's God, see if you God. got something that you like. God God bless these digital dice on D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did he just roll a one? I'm thinking, yeah. Well, yeah, I rolled a one, but I've got a plus two modifier. So <laughs> three. Well, you grabbed a bottle of vinegar. Congratulations, <coughs> you will enjoy that oh. deliciously. Uh, as you guys wander out, Chutney can't help but spit his liquid out on and cough horribly. Oh, uh, you notice that quest a- now to reverse time, so I can turn this back into wine. Um, <laughs> the dice giveth, the dice taketh away. Take yeah, away. wait, 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 wait. Yeah, as I as I go out, since we didn't get to me. Uh, as I go, I'm going to take and I'm going to chug what's left in my tankard and then I'll go out. Wow. Hey. Hey. Um, cork cork my <laughs> vinegar and put it in my bag. That nothing says uh, quality lady like chugging the alcohol. That's right. Uh, well done. As you guys uh, head down towards the dock, you see a crowd of people have captured what appears to be a brigand, a buccaneer, or a pirate. Uh, the human uh, individual as a pirate down his L or down his forearm tattooed into it. Uh, ergo, he is a criminal element. Uh, I will take Arcana as he mutters about the looter, survivors, and storm. So I will take Arcana from all of you, please. Uh, I don't know shit about Arcana, so that's only uh, that's only an eight. Oh. Uh, 14. Wow. fourteen. Um, hey, same Z's. I mean, oh, fourteen as well. <laughs> I'm interested in hearing about eight. the storm. Uh, you have no idea what he's talking about, uh, okay. other than the storm. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, however, one of the citizens gasps and looks at two, uh, the dragonborn. Uh-huh. Well. Are you going to spring into action? Um, by what? whatever do you mean? <laughs> the looter. The looter. It's a famous pirate ship from these parts. Captain oh. Softshell himself pirates that. That is his flagship. Oh, and this He's is one of... the area. We need to deal with it. And this is one of his lackeys? <laughs> if this guy's from the looter... It, is the guy alive or dead? <laughs> I forgot to ask that. <laughs> He's I... in and out. Hey, wait, since I'm right there, I'm going to say, so why, why do we care? I mean, what's in it for us? Uh, Captain Softshell's shell is embedded with jewels. Oh, that's a little insane. Captain Softshell is a turtle. <laughs> nice. No. This must be left over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I wrote this back last September, so I'm not. Nice. Nice. So you're um, telling us you want us to go murder him for the gems on his shell? We want to. We want you to go see if he's dead or not. He's been a, a nefarious up and down this coastline. Aren't you brave adventurers? Aren't you heroic individuals? Why is that guy throwing up on himself? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess. Why does he smell like vinegar? <laughs> I guess, I mean, I guess you with the fish, only you know? own one pair of socks. I mean, you could say that I'm more of a mercenary. You know. Well, if you guys don't want to, you guys can hang out here, see if a pirate attack comes in. Well, I mean, That's... and let the fight come to us. <laughs> sure, because a well-armed uh, tortle warship. Should be right, easy right. pickings from the water. Uh, that, that's fair. You have been told. Is this is this uh, this sailing vessel, the looter, is this? It's captained by Softshell. Is am I hearing this correctly? You are hearing this correctly. Is, is that ship in this port? No, it's a pirate how did, ship. Well, it's how did this in. particular pirate get onto this dock? Probably got washed ashore. The looter must be close. Oh. Damn it. Well, how, are we, suppo- came how are we supposed to go after the looter? Are we supposed to throw the pirate back in the water and paddle out to meet him? <laughs> that was, my que- that was kind of my question, question, too. I always... We are not as much. We are not sailors. So we are mighty. We are mighty, mighty adventurers. Yes, as you. Do you have someone who's going to sail the ship? Soaked, we are vinegar-soaked, smelly <laughs> adventurers. 
The lady looks at you. Oh. Ah, he'll be back. Yep. The lady looks at you and in a time-honored tradition speaks both louder and slower. <laughs> Why don't you go down the coast <laughs> See if he's there," said the uh, railroad engineer DM. <laughs> She's I swinging really, a lantern. <laughs> I really, you know, I wish was I was playing one of my char- other characters. Ooh. I would friggin' just go up and smack her into next week. Well, I'm not. But, I hardly but since, care. Since we have somebody who you enjoys do, role play, you can stay. You have a way town. that we can get down the coast. I'm sorry. You, I, wait, wait. I, I, you I, want us to so wait? You want us to clean up this mess that bothers your town for no guarantee of any coin for our pocket or payment for our time, and you have no way to get us there, look, so we have here, to here, walk. Here, you know here, what? Here's, here's what I'm. Here's what I'm getting to. Here's hmm. what I'm getting to. <clears throat> sort of a down payment, you know, to help us along the way. To get us down the coast, since there's only one road in and out of town, and the town and, fathers... don't win, and, and I and, and I don't feel like I, I only have one pair of socks but no shoes. Besides, didn't you? Can we get a, a boat? Yeah, I, I didn't you have apply. They were. Uh oh. Who, who's the tallest one? The dragonborn. Yeah, he's the tallest. Oh yeah, I know. We're, we're... <laughs> you know what? The city founders, in their infinite wisdom, allow you access to something very special something near and dear to the aquatic farmers that live in this area they are going to give you giant canards ducks that are larger about the pony size and they're going to let you borrow the canards which will act as a flotation device or waddle down the shoreline for you what color are they? Are they like yellow rubber duckies? You know, <laughs> they've got to be yellow rubber duckies. Yeah, they, they have the golden be. canards. Huh? They're yellow canards. So, the golden canard is a crossover. We don't do crossovers. <laughs> wait, wait. So I thought this ship was a threat to come to this harbor. You're saying it's wrecked on and sitting on the shore? We don't know where it's at. We want you to go mm-hmm. investigate. Well, how are we going to find it using these stupid hey. little canards? We Luna, need a Luna, ship. No, these aren't. These are. This is this is perfect. I'm going to take my 50 feet of hemp and rope, and I'm going to start fashioning uh, uh, harness. a harness, a bridle and harness. Sure, for... that that is fine. But I, it's like I'm going I feel to, like, and I'm going to ride my yellow duck right into the ocean. But so there's gonna... a question: How why do you how do we find them? How do we have any idea where to even go? What else are you doing right now? Okay, the do sea. Have there's is nothing really on TV. Huge. I have a duck. I have okay. a duck. I have a duck and vinegar. I am annoyed. I, I mean, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> nice. I mean, I mean, this is sort of pushing the bounds here of what I'm going to be able to believe. The sea is a rather large place. Ooh, he man. could be 500 miles that way. Here, I'll try to do so much skate. And we could be going 500 miles that way. You know, how are we going to find this? Does that guy know where he is? Chutney has uh, an I'm answer. Serious. Yeah, you know do you have a way to find him? No, I don't have a way to find them. But you know what? It seems like a lot more fun than helping these fucking morons around here rebuild their town. That's right. What, what color is the sea meat around here? Is it the dark green? Is it dark kelpie green? It, it is the aquamarine green. Oh, that'll never do. What Says the man thinking? who smells like vinegar. What are you thinking? <laughs> the seawater. All right. Well, I'm off. just going to gather up. So I'm just going to gather gather up some aquamarine kelp and other yeah. detritus from the sea, and dress up Luna's duck so it looks a little bit more goth. Maybe they'll feel a little more comfortable <laughs> nice. with the idea. You could get some. Looks more honestly, the part. Honestly, it's <coughs> not the idea of riding a golden canard around that. That, that, that all right, I don't Yellow, know. The fathers are, no it's, it's it's more the fact that how the hell do we find something like a ship? You can go left or you can go right. Uh, you know, or you're gonna be hugging the coast, or you could, or you could just take your canard and ride it off into the sunset. It'll be beautiful in eight hours in that direction, straight to sea. I'm all for that. Upside down and. <laughs> 
So Chutney, I brought the uh, wrong left character hand over right to this hand <laughs> to make the bridal. <laughs> Um, I'm really sad because I know there's somebody else who would have been really good for this particular quest, who is a pirate herself. Yeah, but she Sally, here, so she ain't wham. here. She, be, uh, she could be. She how could many be harnesses actually. are you going to fast? <laughs> as yeah. many as required for this party. I mean, how many, be, four. How, many can I re- how many can I fashion from 50 feet? Eh, I'll give you four. I'll give you five if you want. But... Uh, I'll, uh, give me either survival or performance to fashion them, uh, and let's see how they do. Go ahead and make your uh-huh. roll and call out whose bridal you are rolling at. Okay, 23. Okay, whose bridal? Uh, the one for Nimbus. Oh, uh-huh. This and is wonderful. Thank you. That's <laughs> going to be needed. His no, no, is no, 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 no not, not for Nimbus's canard. For Nimbus, I plan on writing him later. Oh, you said I could make five. <laughs> we'll yep. we'll talk later. You, certainly can. <laughs> you yeah. might even find a He's round I'm not. ball of seaweed there somewhere. <laughs> so what are you for? Yeah. So keep rolling the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's uh, going to make us... A, sev- a 17 for Moss Pants. He's going to yeah. make us pay later if one of those rolls is bad. <laughs> you bet your sweet ass I am. <laughs> a, t- a 21 for Lunas. Oh, that is so awesome. I do think it's really awesome, by the way. That you made these. I think he just hosed himself. And an 8 for my own. That's oh, what no! I thought. <laughs> okay, so Nimbus is... Fa- or, I'm sorry. Uh, Chutney is fashion <laughs> bridles for your yellow... Not golden canards, yellow canards. Uh, and you take off That's like a duck it. boat in Boston. Uh, do you want to waddle down the sand to the left or to the right? Or do you want to swim out and swim left or right? I would like to paddle just beyond to where the surf breaks. I really get that nice floaty feeling. And uh, <clears throat> if if this is all right with the rest of the party, I'm, I'm discussing it with them now. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, I would like to. I think it would be most advantageous for us to perhaps get maybe, I don't know, a hundred or so meters off the coast. That way we can see further down and perhaps get a glimpse at any ships that might be traveling. We can. Uh, it's as good an idea as any. I have no clue. So I'm not a sea. I'm not a seafaring person at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not yeah, my you're dealing with land lovers. I'm uh, I'm busy trying to figure out if I can shoot arrows <clears throat> well from this canard. Oh, I'm sure that'll go real well right in the back of the canard head. <laughs> That's uh, when you roll a one. Okay, the, uh, I can shoot to the left. It's only when you roll a one. What are your uh, chances of that, right? Chutney, you, uh, you you feel that the bridle that you have fashioned for your own is uh, not doing so hot, but you managed to hit the breakwater. Uh, you guys are going to look left. You're going to look right. I will take investigation since you are actively seeking, not perception. Uh, Devin. You don't God, see I can't shit. say shit. No, not I do. 20 to it. <laughs> A I rolled. Oh, good, good, good. Synthetic 20. A 23. Not uh, a natural. Moss Pants, you are having trouble as the ocean spray keeps hitting you and it tastes like cranberry. The other three mm. notice two things. To the left, it appears, appears, there's a rowboat on the shoreline. To the right, uh, there is a bank of caves and a large ship on its side on the sand. <clears throat> so, small rowboat, big ship in front of caves. Their, their, their proximity to each other? About 600 meters that way, 600 meters that way, 1,200 meters in between. So just outside the what should have been a protective cove, but wasn't because the eye of the storm hit either side. Well, um, what's was, what say you, merry band of adventurers? I was going to say, I think I'd rather check out the big ship first in case he just died there. Wreckage and then go ship, after wreckage. the robot. 
I usually make the big bad guy die in the scenario. Yeah, yeah that sure. usually happens. Corpse. Hey, you know they said he may be dead, so <laughs> I actually confirm it. That's true. You should you should start a whole new trope like that, Frank. Yeah, we'll just go loot the dead body guy for two hours. <laughs> so you guys want to go for the big ship? <coughs> sure. Behind big door ship. number two. <coughs> I'm for it. Why not? Maybe there's something useful. Maybe there's treasure on the ship. Chut me, D12 against me, please. Eight. Hi, Ty goes to the runner. Uh, your bridle's holding, although... Uh, <laughs> you uh, close the distance. One more roll, D12. Oh, come on, roll well. Nine. Seven. Uh, you managed to make it to the shoreline. Uh, it's a rather sizable ship. It's on its side. Its underside is facing you. Uh, everybody give me perception checks, please. Uh, my eyes say sucky. All right, that is 21. Damn. Well, I've been rolling like 18s the last two times. I must have some of uh, some seawater in my eyes. <laughs> I rolled a, rolled a four. So that six. cranberry flavor is still stuck with me. It yeah. is. So I, I tied one, with David. 24. Wow. Tw oh, 24. I thought you said <laughs> two. Uh, Ch uh, Chutney and Luna, you can hear <coughs> conversation coming from the far side of the ship. Uh, a lot of anger, a lot of angst. It appears as though somebody is argumentative and trying to get shit done. But at the moment, you do not see anybody. So you can go left around the ship. So the, or so right. the, 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 the ship is, as you say, is it looks as though it's a run of ground. It's perhaps listing far too much. Can we see the deck side or no? We see the bottom side of the ship. You see the bottom. You see the tattered sails? This thing there, is not going anywhere there, anytime soon. Is there a hole in the bottom of the ship? There is not a hole in the bottom of the ship. Could there be a hole in the bottom of the ship? No <laughs> Do you want to put one there? <clears throat> yeah, you can. You could put one there. Use your but, there are a couple, but there are a couple of guys on the other side talking, so I don't know if you want to put one there now or you want to sneak up on those two guys first. <clears throat> Light it. The sneaking... The sneaking up on and then lighting the ship on fire. I do feel like we need to I burn mean, something now. Right? <laughs> that's what this, that's, gotta burn something every week. Are you a cleric or are you no, a no, 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 no. Just this, you know. What kind of wood is this ship made from? Is it beautiful? Sense, we don't want to burn the treasure. Oh. White oak. White oak? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I had an argument with a white oak once when I was younger. I cast bonfire <laughs> on the bottom of the... There you go. The uh, you it's starting. Burn the treasure. Rear, middle, or forward? <coughs> right in, towards the middle. The middle side, not where the water will lap up on it, but yes, a quite hot bonfire as a cantrip. Fair enough. Uh, Luna and Chutney. Chutney, right after you finish casting the smell, you and Luna here... I smell smoke. Two individuals <laughs> oh. round the rear. Two individuals oh, round the forward. forward section. Everybody roll initiative. So there's four of them, not just two. Oh. That's horrible. Ha! Not 20. Oh, geez. Now I roll low. <laughs> Five. 17. Uh, 24. I rolled a three. Uh, Chutney, six, six minus one. You are first... Uh, you can go to the two on the left, or you can go to the two on the right. Wait, who, me? Mm -hmm. You said 24, I, right? No, no. Uh, no that was no. me. That was not me. I was a six minus one for a five. Oh, okay. I'm a moss pants with a 24. Juke left. Who, what'd you have, David? Five? Five also. Okay, that's where I got confused. Okay, Moss Pants, you are up. You want to go for the two on the left, two on the right? Left. Okay. At your pleasure, you may speak with them or engage. <clears throat> engage. 
Well, are they pirates? Do they look like pirates? Give me an insight check. Oh, I'm good at that. Sure. Uh, 15? Yes, they're pirates. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. They have the do-rag on. Peg leg and everything. (laughs) I mean... I could be a little overexcited, but it seems like a good idea to open negotiations in a murder hobo fashion. Sure. Um, that would be from range with an arrow. Sure, go ahead. Uh, that would be a 22. <laughs> Easily hits. Uh, odd, even, left, right. You are shooting at the one on the right on the left side. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, that would be um, eight points of damage. Ooh, uh, that's a gut wound right there. Uh, next up, 17, Luna. Oh, God. Well, you fired on them, so you can't, like, ask where their captain went to. Hey, although guys. we could probably guess. Although we could probably guess where their captain went to, so we may not need him. All right. Uh, I'm going to do... I will do Told the Dead on the one he damaged. So that is a wisdom save of a 13 you need to make. First nat 20 of the night, boys God and girls. Oh, shit. Uh, next up are the two fives because I rolled a three. So Nimbus and Chutney, uh, the, the, your two associates seem to be attacking the left side, the one on the right. It is up to you on what you want to do. Uh, Chutney, what do you think we should do? Should we negotiate or? Yeah, I mean, that, that should. I'm set. talking about <laughs> the pointy end of my crossbow. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. There you go. So, uh, do you want to? take the first go at it are they uh, are they on the ship no they're, they're making in their the way. water mm-hmm. they have wandered around the front uh, on each end so they came from where the deck is mm-hmm. and moved around so they're to standing the rear. about so they're standing waist deep in water uh no the ship is actually beached it's got a good 12 uh, feet on the beach oh okay um, well, I urge oh, my valiant geez. steed forward. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <Just Meredith. laughs> well, you know what? As you urge your steed forward, give me a D12. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Got to see if that harness holds. <laughs> well, oh, no. Yes. It, it holds. Okay. Yes. Spur your valiant mount forward. And and I uh, and I unsheathe my scimitar. Are you give it a mighty swing for a thirteen? Are you going left or to the right? To the do they the other uh, the other guys went left, right? Correct. Those, those two went so left I, so side. I'm, I'm, heading, I'm heading to I'm heading to the right side of the ship. Okay. Uh, even we'll oh, split the party already. You will be going after number four. Uh, your attack is successful. As you There's smash. only one shit between us. Uh, check me how much damage did you do? Four points. Uh, you slash him, uh, angering him tremendously. Uh, Nimbus, you going to go left or you going to go right? Um, check me went right. The other two have targeted the ones on the left. I'm like, Johnny, don't sell me. I'll follow Johnny. <laughs> yeah, I'll go right. Okay. Uh, even. Uh, uh, even. You also are going to go on the right. Okay. So you two are both going after number four. Uh, Luna and Moss Pants are going after number two. Okay. What you want to do? Uh, number four has not been touched. So Four hit points of damage. Oh, okay. I will open it. Well, uh, I will wound him a little further with a crossbow bolt. So, <laughs> please shoot Chutney's <laughs> duck. <laughs> a second. Six, Sixteen. Sixteen strikes the pirate. How much damage did you do? Okay, I hit. I uh, hit them for not a lot. Five. Well, that's not too bad though. Uh, looks like he's got an arrow to the knee, and that's going to end his pirate leading days almost. <laughs> Ah, uh, the two on the left break off, and they're going after Moss Pants and Luna. Uh, we'll start with Moss Pants. The scimitar is not true with an 11, I assume. He misses you. Swings yes, wildly does. over your head, looking at your strange Moss Pants. Luna, 
This guy does not like chicks. That's a 19 plus three, and his scimitar strikes true. We'll go murder hobo. Yes. She will. Six total damage as he cuts you across, oh, yeah, nearly oh, yeah. striking your karate. Yeah. Over on the right side, I have <coughs> four targets. Four. Four uh, more targets? <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. No, you guys rode your ducks into battle. Uh, right. The one on the left will go after uh, one Chutney, two Chutney's duck, three Nimbus, four Nimbus's duck. Two Chutney's duck is targeted. Oh, no. <laughs> Chutney's duck is targeted twice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that just They want to get the duck out of here. I really want to kill these pirates now. Uh, 10 and a 15. I will rule that the 10 does not hit, but the 15 does. With a mighty squawking, your mount, oh, takes the big one. Seven damage. (laughs) Round two begins with Moss pants. Oh, I guess that since they're close, I have to use my short sword instead. Same roll. Um, that's going to be 21 to hit. Nicely done. And uh, eight damage. Uh, same one. Yep. Down he goes as Moss pants does so much damage, it lops off the pirate's head. Uh, Luna, you're There's up. Another the one previous target that you had is now in two pieces. What would you like to do? And the one in front of me is... Unharmed. Uh, all right. Um, then... Although he does look at the carnage and says, Jesus Christ! <laughs> hmm. Well... I know, it's like, what should I do? Because I think these guys are pretty... Make them surrender! Extra. Um, yeah, right. Uh, I want to, uh, I'll do Toll the Dead again because I think that's they're going to be weaker at that. So, uh, I'd ma- Wisdom 13. I didn't make that one. All right. Too bad he's not missing hit points of damage because that's a D8 instead of a D12. Toll the Dead is like the, one of the best first level spells. Oh, that was only two points. Wow, wow. One, of the first, one of the best first level two point spells you'll look. No, yeah, but it's great when you do a d12 and you get like 12. So, oh, sad <laughs> tuba music. Uh, over yeah. on the other yeah, side, yeah, Nimbus yeah, and yeah. Chutney. Chutney, uh, your faithful mount is not looking that great. Uh, we'll start with you. What would you like to do? It's all right. You can double up with an eye. I'm really starting to wish that I prepared some sort of healing spell, but I'm just not that kind of gnome. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was hoping you were. <laughs> all offense. Go ahead, Chutney. Your duck is quack, quack, quack. Well, I practically made a living out of being offensive. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, DM question. Uh, sure. um, I have actually been uh, keeping track of my fire damage D8 rolls. And we're up to, uh, excuse me, D2, uh, yeah, D12 roll. And I, uh, we're up to uh, 12 points of fire damage for the initial and then the two rounds. Oh, yeah. It's so a two, roaring two, fire two, with a lot of the whole, smoke. The, I'm sorry? It, a lot of smoke. Okay. The bonfire should still be going. I mean, bonfire lasts for lasts for a minute. Yep. And there's <laughs> been nothing to break my concentration yet. I, right. unless, right. I, unless I am mistaken. Nope. You have not, not, my, not my table. I shouldn't be assuming anything. Nope, not you. You have maintained concentration. You've not been hit. <coughs> but yeah, oh no, you've you've created quite the bonfire of the ship, uh, and smoke billows into the air. Uh, well, I'm. I will uh, make how, your, how was how was Herkimer hit? Uh, uh, scimitar. Scimitar. Mm-hmm. You aren't naming your duck Artax because that's what's happening to it. Oh, no. <laughs> Herkimer is the duck's name. We're naming the ducks? My, well, I, I, I didn't name you a duck. In my I, I, IRL. It's okay, Donald. IRL, it's okay, I had a duck named okay, Herkimer when I was a child. Aww. That's so cool. So, um, uh, well... So, but no, that would be that would be the same as opening a door. Free action to jam my thumb into the scimitar wound and then take a strike with the other one. So, 
Sure. I'm going to jam, jam my thumb in there to try to to try to stim the flow of duck blood. Maybe and, a dexterity and, check to make okay. sure that uh, you don't suffer a penalty. Oh, dexterity. Oh. Blah. 13. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> and the scimitar attack against the same fellow who dared to... Uh, nat 20. Damage, nice. damage, modifier. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Two ones? One, one plus one plus one. Oh my god. <laughs> a mighty stroke as he is oh missing eyebrows. They too. laughed at me when I only when I only did two points of damage. That's Stun- a crit, man. Critted, Stun- I critted for three. Stunning blow, Robert Helm. Nimbus. That's that's you've got sucks. the injured one, you've got the that's uninjured enough. one. Uh and these guys are going after the duck. Powered <laughs> the duck. Assholes, man. Crit three. Or, hey, any of my old players will tell you your mounts are mine. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is that now everybody knows why I would have rather had a ship than ducks. Hey, if the wife were playing, your mounts would be safe. She ain't playing. Uh, Nimbus, what do you want to do? You'd rather have a sheep than a duck. I am, uh, <laughs> yes, I am going to, uh, <laughs> form an electrical tether to me and one of the the virus. I know where you're going with this, Frank, mm-hmm. but I'm going to yank it, yank him, yank it, yank him towards me 10 feet within melee distance. So, sure. Well, they are in melee distance. Oh, okay. Then he's going to need to make a strength save. Uh, 17 plus zero. Uh, so 17, yeah, that fails. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is that your action? Uh, my action, I am going to uh, I'm going to level and fire a crossbow bolt then. Uh, let's see. Uh, not with what? God, I'm rolling terrible now. An eight. <laughs> Sad tuba music. Yeah. Pirate time, boys and girls. There's only one Shit. left on the left side. It is going to go after Odd Moss Pants, even Luna. 13, it's going to go after Moss Pants. Oh, thank Ooh. God. Uh, Bring 14, it. 14 plus 3. Consider uh, it rocks. That's going to hit me. I'm going to use yep. the old murder hobo green. Of course uh, you are. Three hit points of damage, just as critical (laughs) as the rock (laughs) node. Right. Uh, Over on the left, over on the right side, I have two protagonists. I still have four targets. My God. Or we're going after Nimbus. Doesn't consider the duck's protagonist. (laughs) And two, we're getting the duck out of here, boys and girls. (laughs) On Nimbus. Four plus three is seven. Your duck gets its feathers ruffled, but nothing else. Okay, these things are hardy. <laughs> Chucky, are you ready? Eleven plus three is fourteen. That I'm afraid is going to hit. And you know what? This one rolled a six last time, and it rolled a six again. <laughs> Cheating over there. Fourteen hit point. Hey, you want to see? I have No, here. I believe we're, you. We're going to get you a dice cam, Frank. <laughs> uh, Chutney, your duck is really hurting. Top of the order, Moss Pants. Uh, you yeah, short Luna sword. Have one. Yeah, that's going to be a 19 to hit, and it's going to be 10 damage. Holy no. shit. Uh, Luna, your sole opponent is not looking well. Oh, he's not dead. But well, uh, you could toll that. I'm gonna try. Yeah, so I <laughs> take that 13 wisdom. He, he's definitely wounded. 14 oh, yeah. on the die. Shit. No bonus. 14 straight up. No, that's 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 all he needs. It's a 13. No damage. No, it's it's a cantrip. So sink, you know, it, it's it's either you know, awesome or suck. Shut me, your duck. 
Uh, oh it's going to take more than one finger to staunch this flow of blood. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to use half of my movement to stand up. And I... Herkimer, you're a fair steed. I'll let not I'll not let you fall victim to another's blade. <coughs> uh, go ahead and behead him real quick and leap onto whatever's left of the underside of the hull. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> I guess we're having Peking duck tonight. <laughs> I've got a go. recipe for that. Now hang on. <laughs> Let's make sure you don't roll a one. <laughs> and hit yourself. And hit yourself. So oh, make, no. give me a D20. Make sure you don't try and behead your big toe. An 11. Zach, or <coughs> I'm sorry, Chutney mercifully ends his duck's oh. life and springs towards <coughs> the burning ship. Nimbus, you find yourself alone and with your duck. I'm suddenly horrified, but yet hungry at the same time. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right. Uh, does a 14 hit one of the marauders? Easily. Okay. You want to go after the wounded one or the other one? The wounded one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to hit him with some um, frost damage. Uh, six points frost damage. Uh, he freezes and explodes in small pieces, scattering across the warm blood of Chutney's still pulsing duck. <laughs> I keep the duck on ice, will you? Her Herkimer, you are a fine steed. <laughs> Thank, thanks to Luna's pathetic attempt, I still have two uh, odd even. My pathetic uh, attempt. Going after Luna. Yeah, you turned oh, this is, on his ass. And this is bad. I'm not even the threat here. Uh, 11 plus 3, 14. That misses. There you Thank go. Thank freaking God for that. On the other side, odd, it's Nimbus even, <coughs> it's Nimbus's duck. That's four. Duck killers. Oh, oh my no. god! Sixteen plus three. That's a lot of rations. Where's the uh, my red? Oh Jesus! Not this time, boys and girls. Uh, your duck suffers four hit points and has a nice little notch on his bill. Uh, oh. Another round, uh, uh, moss pants. Yours is yeah, steady yeah. on his feet. Not for long. Um, ooh, that one's not as good as a 17 hit. Yep. Oh, takes well, a, and uh, hit these guys. seven points of damage. Dead as... And I will head towards the other side. Fair enough. Straight on through to the other side. Luna! Uh, moss pants. I just love killing things. You know how it is. And cuts this guy. Thank God for that. So I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head towards the other way, but I'm not gonna get that close. So that you, you can't know. get that close because the bonfire is raging. Uh, but can I get? Which, by the way, was 30... eight points of damage on that turn. Okay, can I get can... within thirty feet of them, though? You can, and you will also see Chutney, who is warming his hands by the fire, apparently. Because you did you so go behind? Happened... Or to the front of the show. Oh, I, I was with Moss Pants, so whatever no, direction no, no, he went. Oh, uh, Chutney. Oh, good question. I'm, where where are you now? I'm I, I'm racing up the side of the or uh, the, the yeah the side of the boat as it lists to one side. The bonfire should be on my left now. Okay, I, gotcha. I assume I can <laughs> see that though. I would say you can probably see yeah. that. Okay, but there's still a threat. And I want to get, I assume I can get within 30 feet of them. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get much closer because I really did get injured with that hit. Yeah, it's a bigger ship, but only bigger than a rowboat. So it's not, a, it's like a. Oh, canal. it's not like a big pirate. No, no, it's not a merchant galleon or anything like that. Uh, um, all right. So I want to, all right, who looks injured? Do either? I assume one of the two baddies looks injured. There's right? a dead duck. No, I don't want the dead duck. duck. <laughs> no, I want the pirates. Do either from look injured? If they... uh, there's only one, and he does not. Oh, okay. Injured. He doesn't. Well, I guess I'll still do toll the dead. So go ahead and roll another friggin' nat twenty. 
You're really too well tonight. 14 and zero. <laughs> Frick. Usually you're not that good at rolling against me with this. Life goes on. I'm too uh, far away to really do much else. <laughs> over on the right, Chucky, Honest. give me an acrobatics as you climb up the underbelly of the galleon trying <coughs> to miss crustaceans. Fifteen. Easily, he scampers up like he's a chipmunk. Uh, you reach the top, which would be the right side, the uh, starboard side of the ship, uh, and you get a great view of the surrounding area. Uh, you also need to give me a perception check. Fourteen. There's a dude right below you with a crossbow. Gosh. Oh. Uh, I will rule that you did not use all of your full movements. So if you want to take an action, go ahead. Yes, I would like to take an action. I'm... The crying whimpers of your now dead duck echo within your ears. <laughs> you got the high ground. New character, who this? Um <clears throat> oh, for my action, I will shape water and bring it up over the bonfire. What's the range on that? Uh, 60 feet, the same as uh, creating bonfire. Good enough. Uh, pardon, excuse me. 30 feet, I was mistaken. You're still close enough. Yeah, it, it um, moved up, but it's it's beached, but it's not deep beached. No, I no, I want to shape water. I want to move it up the side of the vessel and and over the bonfire. And as the flames are licking low, I would like to use the rest of my movement to dash forward and slide into whatever hole has been created. I can't see if there's a hole from the steam rising. Correct. But I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're blindly leaping in from the pit o steam. That's fair I am. Uh, Nimbus. I a lot about this character. A lot that I didn't. <laughs> uh, Nimbus, but I didn't write a backstory to stick to. It this is fun. <laughs> it's a one shot. We don't do backstory. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, it's. Uh, it's... Okay, Nimbus, uh, your duck has been injured by this foul piratey type. No foul power piratey type. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna blast him. Uh, you know, just frost blast again. Uh, let's see. Does a that that ain't gonna 14, 14 hits. 14 hits. Right. Okay. Uh, that's gonna hit him for a. <laughs> One point of frost damage, but his movement is <laughs> slowed. <laughs> oh, he didn't get two attacks, so that's uh, a plus. Uh, start off with Chutney, since it's my turn. Uh, Chutney, D12 against me. Uh, uh, uh. A nine. Uh, that beats my five. You slide down like John McClane and... Down below the steam, the mist is clearing out, and you can clearly see the individual with the crossbow. Does he see you? Uh, not with a 10. Uh, so just as you slid down, he looks to the other side. He does not know you are there. Uh, the one pirate left, Nimbus, odd even, six. Well, you were really threatened by my duck, huh? Right. Uh, 12 plus 3 is 15. Uh, not this time. Four, seven damage. About half its life is dead. Oh. Yet another round. Poor uh, Daffy. <laughs> off pants. You observed uh, me scampering up the bottom side of the ship. Luna, you The fire is now out. The fire is now out. There's a big cloud of steam rising. But you do not see Chutney, so. Um, can I, from where I am, can I see the pirate that's attacking the other duck? 
you can hear the sounds of battle. Okay, uh, in that case, if you take I'm a step gonna... over, you'll be able to shoot him if you want. Yeah, I want to move over so I can shoot him. If I hear the sounds of battle, that's where I'm going. Please be a one. Please be a one. Kill that duck. <laughs> well, what could he, he possibly hit Nimbus too? Uh, he could, he could hit Twelve you, plus hit. six wow. is eighteen, and yeah. ten points of damage. Down he go. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he's still up. <laughs> He's just wearing a really, really good arrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got an arrow. He's got a minor bit of frostbite on his knuckles. On that. Luna, can you put him out of his misery? I don't know. I'm too far away to do anything melee-wise, so I'm going to have to try it. You, you've been rolling really well tonight, but do, do another wisdom save. 14 again. God, fucking... Nope. Chutney, uh, you find yourself in what used to be the hold. It has suffered catastrophic damage on the main deck. So it looks like something has <coughs> plunged through the main deck, giving you clear access way to the other side of the ship, as well as Mr. Crossbow, who now clearly hears the sound of battle, and he is just zoned in. He is going to shoot the first SOB that walks around the corner. You are behind him, though. He's going. If you want advantage, you're going to need to give me a stealth roll. If you're just going to shoot him, I'll give you advantage. Who we're talking to? Um, oh. <laughs> I was like, I, yeah, I very quickly, I very quickly take and, and sheathe my scimitar and uh, reach to my component pouch and pull out the necessary pieces and pop them into my mouth and bite down <laughs> and cast Thunder Wave at him. Nice. Ooh, nice. Ah, very Thunder nice. Yeah. Do I get a save for half on that one? or is it Yep. Uh, 17 plus mm -hmm. probably nothing. Man, the dice are hot tonight. Wow. So... But with the damage, he's still going to do some significant. Yeah, so it's um, going to be half of 12, so six points of damage. That works. Uh, he knows you're there now. Uh, Nimbus, mm -hmm. uh, your bleeding duck, not bleeding heart, bleeding duck, <laughs> uh, and one pirate who is excruciatingly uh, excru still alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by one. <laughs> Just spit on him. Oh, this guy is just aggravating me. So he is going to have to do a con sure. save. <clears throat> Nine. Uh, he fails. Fourteen. Uh, he At is least gonna, he failed for you. He's going to hear an echo. It's going to sound like an echo from Chutney's Thunder as I hit him with Thunderclap for two points of damage. So tell me that kills him. That barely kills him. <laughs> yes. uh, Chutney, I'm going to go at disadvantage because him. I don't know your. I know you're behind me. I don't know where you're behind. It was me. a duck fart. <laughs> I, I, I whirl around, fire a bolt. Uh, Twelve and a six, so the nine is not going to get you. However, I do see you. Uh, perception check, Moss Pants, Nimbus, and Luna. Oh, that That's was better. not so... 19. I don't see anything. That was, uh, that was an 8. Uh, 20. Uh, Nimbus and Moss Pants. Uh, you thought you heard something, but that damn thunderclap is echoing in your head. It looks like you have prevailed. Uh, victory is yours. Four dead pirates. And yeah. missing one duck and one PC. Aw. <laughs> Time to go looking on the shore side of that ship. Yeah, we need to find him. Uh, yeah, I ride up to the others. <laughs> I I tether dinner up to to my, my mouth and just go and come walking back to the. Group. Is that the name of is that the name of that duck now? Or is or the dead duck dinner? is dinner? Yeah, it yeah. is dinner. <laughs> so you three round the corner and you spot the crossbowman. Chutney, you're up.
<laughs> Do we see Chutney, by the way, too? Mm -mm. Okay. He is hidden in the hole. Oh, he's muted. Oh, we spot him. Can I yell, ooh, look, another freaking pirate! <laughs> Yes, uh, you bet. I don't like. I, I don't like that. Uh, <coughs> that uh, my thunder wave didn't knock him down. So I will. Mm. That was uh, a lot of debris. Uh, I again mutter a few words in druidic, and then water will begin to desalinate and and flow up into my hand and freeze suddenly into a blade as I fling it at him and cast Ice Knife. That is a great spell. Love it. I have pieces that do not like that. that spell. You hit him? For a 21 to hit. Easily hits him? Yes. For seven points of damage. Still up. The Count Rugalizit it, drops his crossbow and begins to double time it towards the cave, screaming, help, 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 I'm being repressed. Uh, oh, Luna, you can't Nimbus, run that fast. Moss Pants and Chutney, uh, he's going to be out of melee range, but I will give you opportunity attack, uh, but it has to be missile or magic. Well, I can it's try. Cool. I can try doing. Uh, you can try making a save. All right, all your others except for one have worked. Not a fourteen this time. It's a what? fifteen. <laughs> ass! You are such an ass. <laughs> an ass. He never 13. said he wasn't, though. That's true. Thirteen is the magic number. Shut me, Nimbus or Monster. <laughs> who wants to try and finish this dude off? Uh, that is a 16 to hit and 10 damage. He goes down. I assume you put an arrow in his back. That is how I play. Real brave. I have an arrow for that. Uh, <laughs> the black feather bristles in the wind as the sea breeze cuts his silence or cuts him to silence. Uh, perception check. Yeah. All of you. <clears throat> All right. Uh 14? Not that great. Mm. Uh, uh, 22. Matt okay. 20. I'm busy collecting arrows. Oh. <laughs> Chutney, what was yours? Synthetic 20. Uh, Chutney and Nimbus, you notice an unopened trunk bound in brass still in the, just outside of the hold hole. Uh, Luna and <laughs> Boss Pants, uh, you notice no assistance is coming from the caves where the pirate was running. Yeah, that was that was interesting because it seemed like he was calling for help. Because I'd like to head that way toward the caves, but I want to stealth. In the open? <laughs> In broad daylight? Be quiet. On a well, duck. <laughs> no, forget the duck. Okay. <laughs> I want to go on the land. Okay. You're on a sandy beach in the open. Uh, if you roll high enough, I'll give you some little copses of... I'll use whatever cover I can. Well, um, well anybody in the cave with, wouldn't necessarily see him either. It'd with be more my, about him with my quiet. plus six, that's an 18. Okay. Uh, so. you're, you're ducking in and out of bushes. Uh, Nimbus and Chutney, you guys have found a trunk. Uh, I say, shall we uh, attempt to open the trunk? And see what's inside. Thought it's we locked. Were, I thought we were. I thought we were looking for a pirate. Well, He's dead. No, a pirate captain. Oh, oh. pirate captain. Oh, yeah. Well, he ain't here. Looking for soft shell. Yep. Yes. We're not looking for random chests. We're looking for. We're looking for a. We're looking for a pirate. Okay. A pirate total. A Nimbus pirate is, jewels in the shell. Nimbus, the trunk is locked. We can always come back for the. We can always come back for the truck. Come on, open we'll, it. Well, we'll come back for it. Fair enough. Uh, you guys watch. Oh, as, 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 as soon as he turns his back, I start. As soon as he turns his back, I start working on the lock. Yeah, he does. I know it. I knew that shit was gonna happen. That's <laughs> me. So you try to open it. I'm gonna try to. He is uh, D12 against me. 
Wait, where is it? Nine. <laughs> nope. One. Nine. Uh, you hear tink and well, that wasn't there a minute ago. <laughs> uh, you have sprung a trap. Uh, go ahead and give me a con save, please. Con save. I'm good at those. No, wait, I'm not. <laughs> oh, wait, I have advantage. As a rock gnome. Yep. True. <clears throat> good thing, too. <laughs> oh, okay. A five and a four. Okay. I, 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 I <laughs> the music again sometime. Uh, Nimbus, you hear a noise, and as you turn around, Chutney is standing up, but he's oh, no. a tick on his right <laughs> side. Uh, you know what? I'll be fair. Are you left handed or right handed, Chutney? I'm ambidextrous. Okay. Uh, left odd, are. even what right. Is that? It, it is his bizarre. left That's side. Are such great tinkers. Yes, his left side is oh, no. starting to twitch uncontrollably, uh, <laughs> and he says, "I wasn't doing nothing." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Sure, you are. <laughs> are you ready to uh, look for that turtle nail?" <laughs> Out of my right side, maybe. Uh, try, you take one hit point of damage and develop a tick. All right, well, are you going to open the chest? I mean, you know, you sprung the trap. <laughs> yeah, the odds of being two traps, probably only 50-50. I'm letting him do the work. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do, Chutney? Create bonfire. Inside, <laughs> inside the ship. <laughs> you want to drag the trunk out first? No. Okay. Fair enough. You I'm seriously gonna are going to... I'm a little upset by this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll be fine. Uh, Moss Pants, you, you have no idea that you are <coughs> zigzagging hut, 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 SWAT team escort towards the caves, but all your associates are dicking around on the ship. Well, uh, I know they're not behind me, but... They are not. Uh, but you managed to close the gap substantially and as you jump behind a rock, you notice that there is a cave entrance straight ahead, and you notice footprints going into it. But there is also a cave entrance about 30 feet up along a rocky cliff that doesn't look that tough to climb. What would you like to do? Look that tough to climb. Well, I'd like to throw caution to the wind and climb. Fair enough. Uh, meanwhile, back at the boat, uh, Chutney has uh, gotten his personal tick. Uh, <laughs> Nimbus and Luna, what do you guys? Uh, what do you three want to do? Well, uh, first yeah. off, give me a perception check to see if any of the three of you, including the tick, notice uh, Moss Pants climbing the. Well, I've been I've been watching him the whole time, so. Oh, okay. I would so assume you, so. Yeah, can, see him. yeah. Yeah, because I, I I focused on the caves and not when the shenanigans. So you see uh, moss pants making the climb, uh, Nimbus and Chutney perception. Twenty two. <clears throat> uh, let's see. It is a mighty seventeen. You both see it, Chutney. You see two moss pants climbing because <laughs> you're. <laughs> You're feeling, you're feeling, you might have had a stroke. You are not certain, or Bell's palsy. Oh, crap. I don't think I can help you either. Uh, having had Bell's palsy, I can tell you that's probably what you did. That's not a good thing. <laughs> so you're a little bit weak on the left side. Uh, but, I, I mean, you still function okay. It's just a, this side is a China doll. Uh, you do <laughs> notice that... Uh, Moss Pants is climbing, and you notice Luna is heading well, that Luna, way. Yeah, Luna, Luna, I would be heading towards the other cave because I want to. I'm not really a tracker, but um, you know, Turtle's going to have very distinct footprints. Yep. I want to see if there are maybe Turtle prints going into the cave. You can't tell because it appears to be several sets of tracks here all muddled together. Uh, you see some deep heel boot marks. Uh, you think you see a claw or two mark. 
Uh, but it looks like several people have already ventured forth. So nothing kind of roundish like this, you know? No, like it's, a, if it was roundish, there's already a blueprint on it, and it's, it is an easy-to-follow track. I kind of look up at my pants, and I'm like thinking, I think to myself, why didn't he just take the way that we all know that they, with some of them went in? I mean, you know, I suppose, I know, do tur I guess if it's not that hard to climb, maybe the turtle could climb up there. I don't Possibly. think they're great we don't know if for climbing. Has made it up there. Uh, Chutney and Nimbus, what do you guys want to do? Well, oh, by the way, there's lots cool of smoke. guys don't look at it. explosions, so I'm walking away from the bonfire. Yeah, guys. yeah, both of us are walking away from the bonfire. Explosions coming <laughs> up. <laughs> well, that won't attract any attention from the cave at all. That so we're, 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 we're heading really towards it does. The, the cave. Yeah. Uh, Nimbus or not Nimbus? Uh, Moss uh, pants. But I do, but I do, I, I do say to Nimbus as we're walking away saying Nimbus I and I think I might need a bit of a lie down <laughs> he's Actually, gonna go I back for that treasure I know he is uh, I, no, I, no, I, no I think he's hurt I, <laughs> oh, he's hurt you're hurt pretty bad okay. no no I'm, I'm not hurt bad it's just the vinegar's getting to me. I'm a little Emotionally, uh, yeah. he's fractured. Guard for life. <laughs> I'm sure you're not in mourning over the duck. He killed the duck. Over her, he can't be over her. Over doing it. No. no, he can be sad because he put him out of his misery. You I mean that's I'm why he did it? Get this turtle killed so we can eat the duck. It was the uh, most, was the merciful me... thing. It was the merciful thing to do. There's no telling what those savages might have done to him. It's I, I true. think you're traveling with savages. Have you ever heard the old pirate <laughs> phrase, fuck a duck? There's <laughs> no telling. <laughs> the body's still back there, dude. <laughs> hey, my my mount is hobbled by it right no, now. No, no, yeah, no. The, 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 it's nah, known as dinner, and it's, duck, but no it's attached to, fucking. yeah, no, Nimbus <laughs> attached it to his, Nimbus has it attached to his mount. Yeah, well, like I said, it's I called hobbled. dinner. All I'm saying, look, all I'm saying is I'm feeling a bit queasy and twitchy. <coughs> well, it sure would uh, be swell to have one of my spell slots back. Uh, so they would, as, I follow, as I fall over into the sand. I and, could, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I could use a shirt rest too. I mean, you know, squirt, 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 squirt. You know, I get friggin'. I can rest anywhere. Yeah, uh, no, you can't because you're on the side of a. You're cliff. on the side of a cliff. And you owe me two acrobatics checks, one for the first fifteen and one for the last fifteen. I'm oh, not sure. Throw up it my there. decks. Okay, um, twenty-four. Make it up fifteen feet. Eighteen. Uh, you make it up thirty feet as your fingertips ratchet onto the ledge. You look up. Uh, it's dark inside. Give me a perception check. And, uh, and then as I'm laying face down in the sand, I go, uh, oh, oh, I can't see <laughs> uh, my perception check is a 16. Heavy breathing is in the back of the cave, and you hear what sounds like a rough slithering noise. Would you like another stealth roll for me to be silent? No, because <laughs> okay. it can smell you. <laughs> That's fine. It can smell the still. shame. A slithering <laughs> noise. Uh, Chutney is face down in the sand, taking a breather. Uh, Nimbus, are you standing by Chutney to make sure he doesn't get sunburned buttocks? Sunburned or whatever. Yeah. Luna, you're slightly. <laughs> I'm not going to leave him behind. I'll you, be. Yeah. I mean, you were at the front entrance. The, I'm going to zip off to the side so they can't see. I mean, if he's trying to get a an hour rest, I mean, I'm willing to try to do that too because I could use. I only have a, you know, level one cleric problems. I only have two slots, so. That's fine. Uh, Moss Pants, I what can do you rest. want to do? You're hanging on, and there's something moving at you. Uh, well, I'd rather be stable than hanging on. So climb I'm up or for climb down. Location. Climb up. Okay. I just climbed 30 get feet up. I'm going to by a giant snake. Not a giant snake. Not even a giant jack shit. Uh, Moss Pants, you're facing off yep. with, the, with the crocodile. Yeah! Oh, right on. I'm swamp taller and I know what's going on. I'll take I come from a swamp. I'll take an initiative from you. Oh, crap. 
Uh, that will be a, where's my initiative? Four. That'll be a, a 17. I got a five, so go ahead. What do you want to do with this croc? It looks like it make nice boots. I was about to say, make a set really of crocs. Nice boots. <laughs> I was no. going to say, I've, I've, I'm, I, I'm at melee range with this croc. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, well, then I'm going to have to stick a short sword through its head. Sure, go ahead. Uh, 19 to hit. 10 damage. Nicely, I love these dice. Nicely done. Uh, it, however, is going to try and snap off your leg and turn you into Carol's other character. Let's oh, go. gee, thanks. Uh, I think <coughs> so 8 plus 4 is only a 12. No, that doesn't touch me. Round 2. Uh, is your predator eyeballs you closer? Luna, uh, what is the thing? A 14 hit? Huh? 14 does hit. What did you say, Chutney? Seven points damage. Luna, what is that I hear? <laughs> this fighting has above. Pants discovered, has Moss Pants discovered the fabled cliff crocodiles of Garon <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think I they heard can... they had ROUSs, but I never heard of cliff crocodiles. Uh, 15 we have right plus now. 4, 19. They get a That's D10 to attack, hit. plus two. There we go. Ow. Six damage as it bites onto you. Ow. So, I mean, can I see this going on these fighting a croc from uh, down below? Nope, because it's 30 foot at a bad yeah. angle. Uh, so the answer to your question, no. I, I, I hear it, but I cannot see it. If you guys that, grab a hold of each other's <laughs> arms and <laughs> form a human net... You'll find Moss Pants in just a minute. Hey, Moss <laughs> Pants, well, you're as, up. <laughs> well, uh, as a bonus action, I'd like to drink my potion. Sure. Oh, no. You know what? Roll and a pick D20. Up. Roll a D20. Let's see if you drop that thing. No. 19. Okay. You guzzle it. Uh, and that'll give me back enough to make me happy. That's four, seven, and it's plus two. So that's nine back. Ouch. Okay. That's still not the greatest, but thanks. Uh, and then that sword thing is going to happen again because fuck this crocodile. Sure. Uh, let's see, that's 16 plus 6, 22 to hit and nine damage. <coughs> uh, that is enough to put your blade through its skull. <laughs> I'm making plans for boots. And, and maybe since I'm wearing studded leather armor made of crocodile hide a little you know modification decoration you want to cut it now nice. not at the moment no it'll keep sure uh you look around and find yourself alone all right i'll peer down below and see if i can see them in the approach way to the cave you can't well, see the twittering eye twitch by chutney but you can see him as he nimbus and luna are trying to figure out what's going on up there. And we're off to the, we're not right in front of the cave, we're off to the side. Mm -hmm. Just so that if there's anybody in that cave, they can't look out and just see us. No, you're, you're fine. <laughs> of course, maybe no one's in there, but I mean, thank, there were footprints going in thank there. Thank you for moving me, Luna, because I wasn't going to move from this. I was just going to lay face down in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You're, you're my size, so yeah. yeah. You know, since you guys are first out, I'll give you the 15 minute short rest so that you guys can recover your hit die. All right. Can I take a 15 minute rest on top of the crocodile now? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> That'll give me this back to full health. Die. Where's my D8? Where's my D8? Unfortunately, D8. as you're doing this, Moss Pants, you realize mm. that you are in a wet cave uh, with a lot of seaweed. It looks like the hurricane may or may not have blasted the crocodile into this cave. As you look out, uh, there is a decline and then a drop off in front of you. Uh, you do you have uh, dark vision? I No, I'm a halfling. So yeah, that's about as far as you can see. Uh, but I do have torches. There you go. If you want to light it, you can see that you can travel 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet before it drops off into a different cave. Uh, judging from your knowledge of geometry and logistics, uh, it's going to be close to the base. 
Uh, outside, I'm going to throw the torch down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll make kegs of gunpowder. <laughs> there's a soft glow, Luna, Nimbus, and Chutney. Uh, you hear a clatter, and you see a faint glow. <coughs> Possibly uh, more assailants are inside. Ah. Where up? Wait. In this cave, right? Yep. Or up below. top? Yeah, I figured it might be. All right, so we get the rest in. I'm like, Moss Pants, are you coming? He can't hear you. He can't hear you. Uh, yeah. But at your soft spoken demeanor, you hear. It kind of sounds like Chutney's left eye. <laughs> Flashes, flashes. Is it really coming from him, or is it coming from? Is it really coming from him? No, it's coming from inside <laughs> the cave. Uh, Buzzing. Chutney, Nimbus, and Luna. Go ahead and give me a nature check. All right, do I have that? the sheer? You didn't write this in February. Oh my! I had killer hornet. I don't have. Sh- <laughs> yeah, this was September 2019. 16. Nope. No. no idea. Not one uh, plus one. <laughs> Wow. I rolled better uh, than him, but it was only like about uh, a seven. The glorious Halcyon days of twenty six. No, it was like a six. <laughs> Nimbus, it sounds like wings. And sounds talking, like wings. Uh, I'm not talking Crystal Bernard wings. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Paul McCartney and? Nope. No Paul McCartney nope. either. No, I think nope. I hear the okay. flutter of wings. Probably uh, insectoid. Shut me, Nimbus Luna initiative. Uh, there be giant wasps here. Again. That oh. one. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, do you want to go first? How about Nimbus or Chutney? Four. <laughs> yeah, nice. one, of you, one of you two can go. There are two giant wasps buzzing out. They were uh, scared of the torch, apparently. Nimbus, you can well, go. Well done, first. Moss Pants. Sick yeah. yeah, Nimbus, you can go before me. Okay, okay. do you want me to bring the fight to us? Else needs a chance to kill <laughs> if something. you want. Okay. Uh, I am going to for, uh, make a, a lash towards uh, uh, one of them. Uh, or draw the giant wasp closer to you. That's a great idea. Yeah, that I asked first. I, asked. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be behind him. I stab back behind him. Sixteen on my roll, depending on what it's for. Okay, it misses. So, it, it was uh, strength. Uh, I get plus one, so seventeen. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that I, I get minus three to intelligence. Oh, well, it's a strength save. So. Luna, you're up. All right, well, then, fine. Make a dick stir. I guess we'll do a dick mm. Nah, screw it. Go, we'll stick with what usually works, and hopefully these don't have as good a wisdom. It's a 19 minus uh, one, oh, right. 18. It's still rolling too freaking high. Depends on what I'm rolling. Uh, Chutney, you're up. Your associates have uh, effectively... Fleshed out the two flying insectoids. <coughs> above a 13 is too high, so. Or 13 and above. Uh, let's see. Now, damn it. Okay. Well, there's so much for that idea. So, uh, I, I'm just going to. Uh, are they within melee range? Can I? They are. Okay. Then I shall swipe with my scimitar for a mighty eight. <laughs> that swings and misses. Uh, there are two of them. There are three of you. Number one attacks. Four. Uh, Nimbus. And four. Nimbus. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. You got their attention. A giant pitcher comes crashing through the wall filled with Kool-Aid. Nice. <laughs> oh. Uh one hit, one miss, because that's a 16 and a 7. So an 11 won't hit, but the dirty 20 will. Yes. Uh mwah. Eh, not bad. Uh four plus two, and give me a con save. 
Con! Okay. You got six damage. Uh, con, my con save is an 18. Does that save me? Saves for half. Take another one hit point on top of it. So total? Yeah, uh, seven. Seven? Ah! Uh, okay. Uh, top of the order, Nimbus and Luna. However, Moss Pants, give me perception check. Ooh, here we go. Uh, 16 plus 2, 18. Over the drop-off, uh, you can see the bright outline of the cave entrance and you can see shadows dancing on the wall, uh, but you really can't tell what it is uh, in order to I go ahead. I guess I'll have to get closer. You're going to have to climb. I'll uh, tie off a rope to a python. Give me a survival check. Oh, hey, I'm proficient in that. Sixteen? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, you pin it off. Bang, 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 and you start climbing down. Uh, Nimbus, Luna, you're up. Okay. Hey, I'm, Nimbus. I am not <laughs> screwing around with these things. Uh, I um, beg to differ. It looks like you are. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to. <laughs> uh, uh, they're going to need to make a deck save. Both or one? All, uh, both. First one, 15 Ugh. plus one. It's free. yeah. Four plus one. The second one fails. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, a stream of lightning is just going to shoot out from me, and uh, it's going to hit one of them for a total of eight points lightning damage. Nicely done. Uh, is there a thunder reaction on this one? Not on this. It's it's. Uh, that's too bad because I was going to deafen moss pants. I said <laughs> I was going to deafen moss pants. Uh, nice. Luna, you're up. All right. On the one that took the more da- well, actually, was it half on this one that saved or is it at all or are they both missing? Da- oh, are they both uh, missing actually, points? actually, uh, the the one that missed is going to take half. So yeah. four points. So they're both missing hit points. I'll just pick whichever one is. I guess they're both closest. Whichever one's closest to me, then. Sure. Um, you could pick whichever that is, and I'm gonna go and make a wisdom save. Be the one on the left. Yeah. Which one? Uh, that's five. So. Yeah, that's not works. Be it. So now it's a D twelve. Come on. Ah, uh, that was much better. Well, that was six. <coughs> Not bad. Nope. Uh, Chutney, it appears as though one is on death's doorstep and flying just like your eyelid flutters. Uh, the other one, <laughs> eh, not so bad. Bong. I'm going to throw caution to the wind and drop my scimitar because this crafty little bastard got away last time and I'm going to leap into the air and attempt to grapple it. Oh, okay. Grappling a giant wall. Hit it. <laughs> Come on, Chutney. For you can 20, do it. For a 21 on my strength. Yeah. Uh, which one were you jumping on? The one that looked like it was wounded. They're both wounded. One, the one on the, the left is wounded. The one more. that's twitching like my eye because it's the one I can see the best. The one on the left is not strong enough to maintain flight and your weight and plummets down to the ground. You have it pinned to the cave entrance floor. <coughs> uh, it will not get to attack. It will get to attempt to escape. Not with a three. <laughs> That one is pinned. Uh, the other one is. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do to this. I'm gonna do to this. This you know, winged disaster. The same thing that my brother used to do to me. And I'm going to grab it around the throat. And I'm going to. Dude, I, I not, got, not punch it in the nuts. I'm put it in a choke lock and 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 roll over so it's it's kind of on my belly while I'm holding it and trying to strangle this bastard. Uh, we can tell oh. you're a murder hobo because somebody's going to stab right through that shit. Uh, who is the other one going after? What's the negative to hit prone targets? 
five. Uh, prone targets are almost automatic, but he's prone as well. Luna, the other one, takes a beeline at you. 13 plus four is yeah, I think 17. It's, it's seven, oh, 17 hits. By the way, I believe it's disadvantage on shooting a prone target ranged. Yes. If that's if what you were asking. It, it is disadvantage. disadvantage. Uh, Luna, give me a con save. Uh, two chances to get in that one. Take two hit points of damage. Uh, oh, that's going to make it. Uh, con save. So that would be a 22. Is and it 19? Half. Uh, I took half a two? Yes. No. No, two is the Two normal. is the piercing. Right. The poison, you take two more. Total, right? So I take four total. Four total. Yeah. Uh, Moss Pants, you are on the ground after <coughs> sailing Mount Olympus. Give me a perception check. Oh, that one's not as good. Um, nine. You know, you thought you were on the cave floor, but for some reason you're on a damn wooden chest. Uh, the torch that you threw over the side is still present, flickering uh a little bit of illumination, but enough to see a large figure wearing a <laughs> captain's hat emerge from the shadows and say, ah, there be my new bitch. <laughs> Roll initiative. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> so wait, he's still, what, he's still above? No, he uh, tied off the rope, went down. Went down. On that oh, okay. Chest, and he's squaring it's just off. just a tortle. Come on, 20 mother. natural and four on top of it. Thank you very much. That'll be a five for I me. I want that nat 20 to hit him, though. So uh, let's start with uh, the big bad, uh, Moss Pants. Oh, shit. You go. And yeah, then we'll, we'll flip over to the other three. How close to me is he? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> right there? Yep. I guess it's short sword at close range then, eh? <laughs> that would be my guess. Uh, as a turtle, he has great AC. Well, that's nice. As a dex monkey, I have a great two hit. That's a 23. Oof. Oh, that'll be easily, easily hit. Him. Nice. Take 10 oh, points of piercing. He's got a shit little hit points. <laughs> Over to Good. the other side. Chutney is trying to choke out his, you know what? Uh, give me a odd even roll, Chutney. I'm going to have you do some damage to this thing. Even two hit points uh, is enough to <coughs> snap its insectoid neck. Damn it! Uh, That's so done. Nimbus and Luna, you hear a, uh, and it's not Chutney's head. <laughs> Thank uh, God. However, you two still have another giant. Uh, what wasp. I say? Giant wasp. wasp here, and you hear the sounds of battle. In the it, game. It, 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 it. I'm going to, uh, if this thing is in close range, I'm going to try to make him feel special and reach out and touch him uh, with shock and grasp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would be a 23 to hit. Nice damage. Uh, seven points of lightning damage. Good news, Chutney. Uh, Luna and Nimbus are splattered with bug guts. However, since you had the giant wasp proned out, you will remain clean. Uh, both giant wasps are now <laughs> dead. Uh, wasp pants, it's time for the captain. And he wait, gets... wait, wait, wait. Don't I get a turn? Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. Yes, go, we go Are we staying in initiative? Same uh, yes, initiative? Yes, we will okay. stay in initiative. All right, because I want to, I hear the sound of the battle, so I know where it is, so I'm going to head that way. So depending on how many moves it takes me to get within, uh, what's the thing? Well, maybe 30. What's the? Um, 80 feet. They're 80 feet away? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to, can I get to within visual sight? Because Guiding Bolt is 120. Uh, yes, there is flickering light from the torch, which may or may not go out this round, but yeah, you can, uh, be there for that. Frame. All right. And I can only, I can move 25 feet. So that will <coughs> get me there in time. Sure. All right. Then I'm going to try, I'm going to try to hit him uh, with a guiding bolt. 
Although his AC you said is really good, huh? Uh, well, that was a really good hit because that's a 19 on the die. So that makes it a 24 with the guiding bolt. That hits. And what is my damage? It's 4d6. I'm using murder hobos for this. And whoever hits it next gets advantage. Hell yeah. That's the that why I did this. All right, so that's 10, 13, or oh, 15. And I think there's no pluses. Nope, so 15 points of damage. And as I said, whoever hits it next gets advantage. Because um, he's kind of glowing now. That's fair. Uh, uh, Moss Pants, <coughs> he's going to unleash on you two attacks. I bet I got you. Well, 15 and 17. 17 so just, hits. Okay, just one. Uh, D6 plus three. There we go. Nine damage. Ow. Murder Hobo uh -huh. dice, baby. Uh, that brings us to the four. Uh, chutney. Go, Chutney, go. Go, Chutney, go. <laughs> um, I'll <coughs> use half my movement to stand up. I'm going to reach down and grab the stinger from this wasp. Wasp. Sure. Straight up D20. Yeah. Make sure you don't grab it with your hand. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. 11. The serrated edge is firmly within your grasp of your gloved hand, and you rise like Thundar the Barbarian, holding your new strange weapon aloft. Top of the order, Moss Pants. Wait, a okay, quick question. Still, what I still have my other half of my movement that I'm using. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and what is that, 25? Yes, half of 25. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're going to be out of range, but okay, go ahead, Moss Pants. What kind of weapon is the turtle using? Uh, a curved scimitar. Cool. Um, I'm going to. In the, uh, hand it doesn't body. happen to be a, a small weapon, though, does it? It's a medium weapon. Oh, well, I'd like to enter his space and attack him from there. I'm sure. nimble. You you did catch the the yeah. points. Okay. Because uh, I'm going to air your skull. Oh, yeah, that hits. And uh, we'll do eight points of damage. Okay. And then I'm going to run away, giving him a chance at an opportunity attack to my maximum movement. Nope, that's two. Uh, so he swings and misses. <laughs> uh, and I'm 25 feet away with my bow drawn. Okay, fair enough. And uh, let's go with the 16s, Luna and Nimbus. Nimbus, uh, go ahead. I'm going to take my action. I'm going to pop a healing potion. Uh, what is the stats on the healing potions? 1d8 plus, plus 2. Uh, we do uh, homebrew. 1d8 one, one plus 2, no 1s. Okay. Ooh, that's about the same then. Okay. Old school rules. <laughs> You nice. know, and I think I missed the fact we got a healing potion, but that's okay. You didn't. Oh, I didn't? <laughs> Where yeah. did they get them from? I just it... bought it with our loot from the last game. Yeah, oh, okay. Same, same character. Okay, uh, Luna, what do you want to do? Uh, um, how bad does Moss Pants look in terms of injuries? Do you look really bad? <laughs> Moss Pants is fucked up. Uh, <laughs> Moss Pants, I will come up to you and I will burn my other spell. Sure. To do cure oh. wounds. Uh, what's it? 1d8 plus 3. Okay. I have to warn you. I'm probably going to go back in and fight him again. Good. I, but I don't have any more here. This is my last spell slot. Oh, fuck you. No. Can I reroll ones or ones? Everyone lives yeah. till they die. What? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Ones reroll count. one. Reroll ones. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was better. Uh, but that was still only four. So that's seven points back, though. First level, that should be pretty oh. decent. Oh, awesome. that's really, really nice. <laughs> the cavern goes dark as the captain kicks dirt onto the torch. Uh, ah, Chutney, do you have dark vision? I do. You can see him. So do Light I, him by up. the way. Yeah, I do too. 
but I will help rectify the situation next round. Yep. It gets back to me. Yeah, it's Chutney's turn. So, yep. What, what you want to do, Chutney? I'm, uh, how, how far are we? Is... You went 25 feet, so you're a good 90 feet away. And you see that he's going to move in his hands. I'm going to. Oh, he's casting something. Run, I'm going to run at him as fast as I can, 25 feet. Cut that down to wait. How what? How many foot? How many feet was he away? Ninety. Eighty. Eighty. Ninety-five. Ah. Well, you'll get over halfway there. If you dash, uh, you get fifty feet. Top of the order. It would take me to that. Would take me to fifty-five. Uh, if you dash, you'd, you'd be at thirty-five. Yeah. No, if I no, if I don't dash, if I just 35. Oh, 25 uh, minus 80, uh, 55. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I will create bonfire at nice. first level, not as a cantrip. How, what's your range on that? 60, <coughs> 60 feet. That works. On the ground, on the ground, at his feet, and all around him. Okay. <laughs> that works. Well, it's, it's, good. it's 60 feet. You're 80. No, wait, you're 55. Oh, it's no, you 55. said 55. That yep. works. That totally works. Moss Pants, uh, yeah. the cave springs into light. Uh, I can and, see again. And the outline of the large turtle with light flickering off the gems of his soft shell are clearly visible to you. Uh, did Beautiful no one... target. And uh, 19. Does a 19 hit him? And he'll take six okay. points. Uh, eight points. Six and eight. Got it. Next up are the 16s. Nimbus and Luna. I'm going to take the dash action to dash up towards them. Okay. Uh, that should put me at um, 30 feet of movement. So that should put me, what, at 60 feet from the target? Uh, target's 80 feet away, so... So if I dash, that puts me at 60, right? 40. Okay, 40. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, from, from there, I'm going to take my action, and uh, I'm going to – I have dark vision. I don't think I'm in the cave yet, though, at that point, right? He, there's a oh, you're in the cave. Oh, I'm in the cave? Okay. But there's Sorry. a bonfire under him. Also, yeah, you don't need dark vision. You can see him because there's a big fire around. Okay. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna fire a crossbow bolt. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Wait a uh, Seventeen. Does that hit the turtle? Yep, that's exactly uh, what you need. Okay. Oh, that's not awful. Uh, five points of piercing damage. <laughs> Pretty high for first level. Seven, 17 AC is pretty high. Right. That's level. pretty high. That's, right. That's my AC. I've got a 17 AC. That's really high I for first level. An 11 to hit him. Because I took a scale mail, I believe. You're up, Luna. Oh, that's right. I am up. All right. Well, since I don't have to cast a light spell because we have an awesome bonfire, I'm going to instead, I guess, we'll try to toll the dead. He's wounded. Yeah, exactly. He rolled him. He rolled a fifteen or something. I rolled like a nineteen. That. Fuck you. Ow. Fuck uh, you. Wisdom. Uh, At least it's zero. a cantrip. Yeah. See, I know. I knew. See, I know that his wisdom is probably. I mean, he looks dodgy to me, so he looks like he's dexterous. So Sacred Frame probably will. He'll have a better chance at that one, anyways. You <laughs> see him take his paw, whatever the fuck those things are, on a turtle. Yeah. And, and do this. Three small projectiles Magic uh, missiles. fly from his hand. Magic Whoops. missiles. They're round. <coughs> oh. Uh, the one I will not throw at is one. So I'm not throwing at Chutney. I'm throwing at Nimbus, Moss Pants, and Luna. Ugh. Nimbus. Uh, I don't think so. 13. Uh, 13 hits. Okay. Moss pants. 17. That, that hits. 
Luna. Uh, ten. You that missed. Not hit. Uh, Nimbus. Make with the pain. Let me check. Uh, sure Nimbus. Moss pants. Balls hit you, and you are suddenly surrounded by white strands. Uh, very silky, almost like a web. Oh. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me dex saves, please. Yes. Okay. Oh, well. We have proficiency in those. They're called webs balls. They're used to... I have never heard of them. That's cool, though. That's they're, a Frank thing. <laughs> they're a homebrew that I give to conventions. No, uh, that's, that's a good idea. 16. 23. Uh, you both snap out of them. So you are not restrained at all. Uh, Chutney, you were not targeted. It is now your turn. Uh, also, do I take more damage? The uh, bonfire. Uh, another six points of damage. You are up, sir. Okay, I will continue using my 25 and... <coughs> I will <coughs> hold an action. I will hold the dodge action in case he tries in case he tries to do any of this funny business with the web balls again. <laughs> uh so no action, just holding. I'm holding the dodge action. Tough. I, I, I'm, if if this is something that he does again, I will take my my action to dodge whatever he's doing while I continue advancing and concentrating on my bonfire. Fair enough. Uh, Moss pants, you're up. Uh, Total's not looking so hot. Critical hit. Uh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> I have to roll another D6. Uh, that's 11 plus 4 is 15 points of damage. Uh, Chutney, you no longer need to hold your action. As the total. <laughs> I have an error for that. Let's see which direction he falls. Bless you. Thank you. One, he falls forward. Onto the flames, uh, a stank rises as blackish, greenish smoke as his soft body tissue begins to roast. Uh, the Toro mm, Captain turtle soup. is dead. Yeah, I probably should get him out of the fire so it doesn't burn the treasure. I'm going to go gems. grab my chest and drag it out here. <coughs> Are we still on uh, initiative? Uh, no, we'll go with Chutney first since he held his action. Chutney, what do you want to do? Um, is it obvious that this turtle is dead? Mm -hmm. Well, face first into the fire. Hmm. Then it's I will, being cooked. Then I will take away. I will take away the bonfire. Darkness falls in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> on Luna. I cast a light spell to. No, no, no! I turn around and put it on Luna. There you go. That's oh, the robo he just set right you. There. He just set you on fire. <laughs> Why? Uh, now she doesn't get a save. She takes six hit points, right? Mm hmm. Mm, okay. Hey, murder hobo shit! <laughs> uh, we return to initiative as Moss Pants is running up to get the chest. You see, Luna is on fire. 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 Well, I'm aware of how the fire occurred. I've known Luna longer than Zach. That's how my loyalties run. I guess Zach's going to grow an arrow. <laughs> PvP is the way to be. <laughs> oh, that's a 19. <laughs> I guess it's, I guess it's oh, Battle Royale now. Sit back and watch this. <laughs> this is Battle Royale. You don't Royale. have to do anything, man. Are we still on 16? Also, uh, anybody, 19, how much 19 to hit you? and nine points of damage. How'd that do for you, Chutney? Oh, uh, 19 uh, really definitely hits. And let's see, how's that going to do my damage here? Man. 
I, I turn around to Moss Pants with the with the arrow sticking out of my side. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I'm just trying to get the toxic webs off of them. I don't have any <laughs> on me, you idiot. <laughs> I'm a swamp way, fucking um, ranger. I, I thought You're not you were going to sell me on that one. Uh, we'll go with Nimbus since he's been going first on the 16s. Okay. Can you put, can you put me out? You have to make constitution. Oh, yeah. Well, well, hang, hang on. Hang, I can't hang, on my next. I can't on my next turn. It takes an action to dismiss it. Hang, hang on. Is it concentration? It is concentration. Yeah. Then so you would roll, have to roll. A, roll a d20. Ten or better, you keep concentration. Oh, one. Dude, that shit hurt. <laughs> now, it's gone. Down, down go the fire. Okay. I can't Nimbus. see it anymore. Yeah, it's dark. Nimbus, what do you want to do? Uh, 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 I love the murder hobo, man. I know. We're going to free it. Okay. Uh, oh, what the hell? We're all murder hobos. They're all going to have to make constitution saving throws. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why? Just make a constitution saving throw. DC he's doing, 14. He's doing that no, I'm not going to. You guys. <laughs> oh, so you're going to kill me. I got one hit point. <laughs> so thank you very much. It was uh, 14. Well, you I'm just not... go unconscious. <laughs> uh, no, no but there's ma massive damage do is a thing here, you know. It yeah, might that... not be that massive. No, Four. you roll 14 points of damage. No, I no. said made a con save. Oh, oh, what's the, I, I, I thought no. you then said take 14. I, I thought you said 14 damage. Yeah, uh, I, I thought you said that after two. No, I, I said uh, con. I, I, I heard all you. Right. All right, all right, <coughs> cool, 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 cool. No, you, nope. you, clearly, you clearly said make a con save. I did hear that, of, too, of four, and I did hear of, 14. Of 14. And then I thought yeah. he said take 14 after con, that. I'm like, my, my, con, my con save was a 19. Nope. Oh, this is going to get hairy. Um, All right, what do you got? Roll your damage. Okay. Uh, hey, it's not that bad. Just four points of okay. uh, thunder damage, and they're all pushed back towards the 20 feet. <laughs> no, I just drop. And skid. <laughs> I just drop. Uh, Moss Pants and Chutney, are you still conscious? I was yes. breaking up the fight. <laughs> That's what I was doing. You guys are horrible liars. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Uh, Chutney, are you up? Yes, I am. Uh, Moss Pants. I'm up. Uh, That's Chutney, been it's... lighting a torch. Chutney, it's up to you. Yeah. One down, two to go. Make a con save. <laughs> All of us? Both of you, yes. Okay. Is this an area of effect? Oh, uh, eight. <laughs> Fourteen. He what's thunder the... waved me back. <laughs> I, thought, I thought, yes. So, what's, the, what's your what's DC? The con? <laughs> so, Nimbus will take ten and most oh. will take five. What's, Ow. The, what's, what's the DC? Almost so down. Short, it's an Twelve. eight. Twelve. Okay, so that's a failed. That's that's a failed save. Uh, I I'm down. <laughs> uh, top of the order, moss pants. Well, I have to spend an action lighting a torch and tossing it. Uh, um, and then I'll stealth. That's fair. Uh, In the deep shadow. With Chutney. a 19 uh, plus 6 is 25. Chutney, you cannot see in the dark, correct? No, yes. I yeah, see, he, he's a rock now. Um, I have dark vision. Uh, you're going to, yeah, but a 19 on the stealth. He's hiding. Oh, 25 with a modifier. Mm. Uh, perception check, Chutney. Twenty-three. Uh, you think you see him, but the charred body of Luna and the downed Nimbus are throwing off strange heat waves, so you can't really be sure you're seeing what you're seeing. Uh, you'll roll at disadvantage. I don't need to roll at disadvantage. I'm just going to move and where I from the direction that I saw him last. 
Uh, that puts you in the dark as well. And I'm uh, I, yes, but I have I have dark vision, and I'm going to cast another thunder wave. I'm going to use my last spell slot. Uh, give me a D four. Two. Two is on target. So who gets make, affected? Make a con save. Yeah, made it. I, I, who gets affected? So that yeah. means you only yeah. take. So that means you only take six points of damage. Uh, twenty down. twenty-one. So yeah, you're down too. Yeah, yeah. Murder of the link, folks. That's how it goes. Uh, one yeah, last man. I will go. I will. Uh, I will go ahead and take my wasp stinger and very gently put it into each of their necks. Oh! You know, just a double tap. Actually, you don't have to. I'm already dead. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, I'm gonna David. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyway. You know what? You need to cut off their heads and wear them. That's no, 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 no. Oh, that's what we do. That, that is. And then I will take. They will take. I will take the time. Very carefully bury the bodies in the corner of the cave. And then uh, I very quietly sit there and pry each jewel at the back of the store. You're a lion. Nice. Shit is what you, are. <laughs> uh, you will get 600 gold pieces in Damn. of various shapes and sizes. The chest contains 1,000 pieces of silver from an island nation across the sea. And a pair of healing potions. <laughs> and oh, son of a bitch! And what about the uh, I, the the chest in the I, ship? I take, Does he get I, that one too? I will. Uh, take, I, will he, I will take. I will take. I will take five hundred silver and bury bury five hundred silver pieces underneath each body for the person who is brave enough to come and find. These amazing warriors. Chutney. It's been my honor. The pictures are with. Are you going to put 500 the below your duck? <laughs> no, Chutney, I go, the out, duck I, go out on, I go out on the beach and create a bonfire and eat the duck. Nice. Uh, we'll call I don't it there. That when I have three others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can become a duck farmer. That's uh, right. <laughs> folks, that's how you murder hobo shit nice. right there. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do final thoughts. Uh, we will go ahead and start with Luna. Carol, what'd you think? Um, I know how I'm you love to... murder hobo. And... <laughs> no, no, it's 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 fine. It is what it is, and it's entertaining for people. That's all that really matters. Um. <laughs> No, it was just frustrating because I couldn't do anything. So I'm not even sure. Yeah, because I literally First couldn't level, do anything. Man. I know. Well, no, I mean, I felt useful in that last fight. What I mean is after that, I mean, I couldn't do anything in that last part. That's, But that's 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 just because of where I was in initiative. Uh, otherwise, I would have just fucking got the, the hell out of there. She really doesn't care about money that much. So money if you, makes the world go right. Yeah, whatever. David, uh, well, but I, but wait, I want to actually say I did have fun. It, you, you did. It was once again. It's another well-written, uh, well-executed <laughs> scenario. That was, although yeah. I really would have rather brought my damn uh, my Pirate. swashbuckle. Yeah, that would, there, she would there have been were so much twelve better. encounters you guys never got to. So. <laughs> well, as, I mean, it's a two-hour. Yeah. 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 Uh, David, what you think? Oh, I thought it was fun, uh, Zach. That was awesome. Great murder hobo. That was an awesome murder hobo. It was should a great killed scenario. Him early. Yeah, I should have. But uh Yeah, you didn't tell us that he was up to no good and uh but anyway no. <laughs> she probably should have friggin' just targeted. I did not him. mind the battle royale that was coming at the end. So <laughs> fun. I'm just glad uh, Rob, I never... what'd you think? Ah, uh, it was fun. That's that's what you do. It's fun right up to <laughs> fucking died. Zach, what'd you think? I thought it was great that. Um, oh uh, sure, you would. That, no, 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 no. That was the, no, I thought it was great that um, that that you, as a DM, uh, <laughs> let me get away with my silly shenanigans in the beginning. You know, it's like you know, asking for a boat, and you know, and I, I was like, yeah. That I was, was kind great of testing. Play. I was kind of testing the waters, being a difficult player for a moment, and and you were brilliant. Nice <laughs> answer, sir. Thank the you very ducks much. I mean, the ducks were good, but the yeah, the only thing is, I still don't understand how we knew it was like that close to shore. You did. did I miss I something? 
I was no, we, thinking if we I missed just, something. We were on a scout. We were on a scouting mission. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and uh, and it was and it was super fun. And um and um uh, as being in the head of the character, it was uh really fun. Um, like learning about the character and like, you know, it's like I just met these people and they've taken me in and now I'm going to betray them. It, that was fun. But um, <laughs> I felt really, really, really bad because I was kind of in a bad place with my D&D stuff. Uh, I, I've been suffering some DM burnout and um, Carol was so gracious and reached out to me mm-hmm. on Twitter and was so wonderful and so lovely in the direct messages and getting me in touch with you, Frank. And I and me as as a person felt fucking horrible about what I was doing. You're not, <laughs> so, you really, you so really I should really, because I, mean, I probably will not play this character again. And I just oh, I come don't on, think I care. No, no, I, I no to die like come that. Come on, it's a one shot. No. Respawn. No, 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 no. You don't know. I it, it, in my head, there's sort of a canon for these players. Now I've done it before. Rainy it technically went to walk the plank one time, but I was like, eh. But in something like this. Okay. I don't know. I don't One know if I want to. I, I really actually, I got. But she to... and she still is a statue, and that's Rainia, by the way. She and still I, is, and, and I won't play her until that's resolved. I really went into this hoping, like, like I was like, oh, there's another gnome in here. I was like hoping I was gonna make a good friend, but that's <coughs> you could have. You, <laughs> so you, you absolutely, you absolutely could have. She's yeah. she's not the most social butterfly, oh, well. but she doesn't hate people. Okay. Oh, remember, he stabbed you in the neck. Uh, folks, no, is, no, she oh, doesn't I'm know that. Resistant. A, she was yeah. already dead. I mean, she yeah. doesn't know he stabbed her in the neck. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit with D&D, <laughs> uh, join our Discord <laughs> channel. If you want to buy our cool crap or our half ass crap, go ahead. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot or if you want to be on the talk show, mhobo inc gmail or twitter hit us up we will get you hooked up just like we did for zach just like we did for rob just like we did for david just like we did for carol yep. uh thank you pirate dog dice because <laughs> my dice were on fire they were, uh, and games.com if game stinks grab a little adventure sense don't huff them kyle because you got what you deserved uh for all of us here at murder hobo inc if you can, join us tomorrow for the tri-generational campaign. Those guys are nutcases. It's going to be wild. Other than that, Tuesday is the talk show. Folks, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching us. And uh, come on, join the show. Everybody wave goodbye and bye-bye. <laughs>